<laughs> Humans, you are the only beings in this universe that are slaves to masters of your own choosing. And I see you, ambitious human, desiring to be the master of them all. I have watched laughing from stars away in the safety of my own planet as your empires crumble your many leaders toppled over slaughtered betrayed often by their own children mm. if you do not wish for the same fate to befall you on your climb to power listen carefully and listen well for your civilization is barely out of its training diapers so tell me mr president can you do the Dougie? You heard me correctly. Can you or can you not do the Dougie? The Stanky Leg. Whip. Nene. And before you laugh or answer in the negative, I want you to remember just how much you would benefit from having the youth on your side. Now, a terrible and very common mistake to make as a human president is to ignore the youth. Young people are usually overlooked. They can't vote don't have a say in anything, can't even control their disgusting, slobbering hormones. But there is one thing that you must consider, Mr. President, and that is how powerful the youth of today has become, and how much of that power you could take for yourself. Yes, yes, that's correct. Others may not see it so clearly, but you, my ambitious ape, surely have noticed how social media is one of the most powerful tools to be wielded in your current day and age. And sure, you can buy media outlets, news channels, magazines, the like, and have them say whatever you want. But the reality of it is that each passing day, people read and watch the news less, and instead rely on social media to update them on current events. And who do you think reigns over this medium? Hmm. Consider, if a person's only source of information comes from social media, what do you do about the little shitbag running a meme page that calls you a cringe or cancels you for, you know, what do people get canceled for? Uh, probably something like uh, homophobia or racism or being against homophobia and racism. Uh, whatever it is, some little twerp online will find a reason to absolutely ratio you, fam. <laughs> and I thought my language was hard. But the potential humiliation and damage to your image if you do not appease the youngsters will not end there. Oh no. You'd best believe that that dubstep edit of you falling on stage will reach people of a voting age and they will be laughing at you too. And you can't just kill all of them. No, 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 you can't just kill them, they would write. And though they may not seem like a menace with their fat faces and pathetic skating abilities, their opinions and mockery will echo across all corners of the internet, reaching your current voters created by your future voters. Oh, you do well not to underestimate the damage that can be done with a single bad meme. A deprecating comment on your nose hair or wig, and you'll be the laughingstock of the whole wide web. Now to prevent this, you have to advertise yourself to their liking. Young people are so used to being ostracized that the moment you give them a little bit of attention, which they clearly don't get from their parents, they will crave more validation from you. Find the artists they love and invite them over to your office. Shake hands with them, yeet, and stab, uh, or whatever on pictures, so they'll think you're in touch. Promise less restrictions, more freedom, a land of acceptance to all. Now, it doesn't matter that behind their backs you will lower the age of criminal responsibility, ignore drug trafficking rings for young girls, prosecute children to the full extent of the law. Hey, you're the cool president, aren't you? <laughs> you will give them freedom, sure, but you'll also treat them as if they were adults and leave them as prey for your more depraved political allies. But those are all things they won't be seeing. They'll think you're so funny and charming. 
Just a silly older man with good intentions. And finally, finally, someone is doing something good for young people. Follow the current line of thinking. Are young people more inclined towards socialism? Abolishing hate or racial bias? Just go to the kiddies table and preach about equality. When you go to the adult table, however, you'll laugh over what you told those silly little brats. And you're in it for the long run, too. When those naive souls are finally of an age to vote, who do you think they'll turn to? The political parties that ignored them all their lives, or the person that has been beside them all along? Young people really are the future, and you must get to them while they're still moldable, still unsure and undecided, and win them to your side. Silver Anakin, I have the high ground!